The Labour leader Keir Starmer has managed to once again alienate a chunk of people on the political left with one tiny speech. And in the speech, he mentioned Margaret Thatcher and how Thatcher was right. So let's go to the speech quickly and then we're going to show you the reaction, the crazy reaction we had on Twitter at this speech. Uh, then let me tell you, you're right. Nothing is more important, more fundamental to a democracy like ours. The rule of law is the foundation for everything. Margaret Thatcher called it the first duty of government. And she was right about that. An expression of individual liberty, our rights and responsibilities. But also justice, fairness, equality. One Did you just see the people in the background that they're behind him like, uh, okay. They were just looking at everyone else in the audience. Basically, they, they, everyone's kicking off because of what... Um, Starmer said, firstly, he's correct that Margaret Thatcher was right about the rule of law and the first duty of government. There's absolutely nothing controversial about that. I don't understand why everything has become so tribal in this country that if someone, a politician from a different party, praises something that somebody else said just because they're part of a different tribe, then you're just going to have to oppose it. Just because Margaret Thatcher said rule of law is important, we're going to have to go against the rule of law because Thatcher liked it. This is just absolute chaotic mentality that we've created in the West over the last couple of decades. Anyway, let's go to the reactions, basically. So people on the left are not too happy. One person said in quotation marks, Margaret Thatcher was right about crime. The leader of the Labour Party 2023. Well done, centrists. So the political left, they either call Keir Starmer a right-wing Labour leader. <laughs> yeah, apparently he's right wing or they call him centrist which he is but he's basically a left wing centrist so even on, on the center you have left and right leaning but that aside you had uh, in the speech he actually uh, talked about four targets on crime for the labor government restoring public confidence in police to highest ever level this is just an aim by the way it's not really i, I can't really create a target for this but okay uh, once, obviously, they had reduced um, knife crime by 50% incidents. Reverse uh, the collapse in proportion of crime solved. Okay. And, of course, a reduction by 50% in terms of the level of violence against women and girls. Why can't we just say the aim for government is to just reduce crime and good policing? We don't need to come up with all this gimmicky jargon and all this nonsensical words just to create more bullet points. Just say we're going to reform the police. We're going to bring down crime and we're going to actually uh, sort out uh, the safety on the streets. That's all you have to do. But no, 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 they're going to have to keep talking and talking and talking for hours and hours instead and have a meeting about having a meeting in the future. Anyway, let's go back to the reactions that we have. <laughs> this Will guy is from Wales, I believe. It says, how does uh, Keith <laughs> feel about the miners strikes on the Thatcher? Oh, if he loves Thatcher so much. He didn't really talk about Thatcherism. He didn't really say, I loved everything about Thatcher in the 80s. He simply said one thing she said on the rule of law. She was correct. Why is everybody being triggered these days? Everybody is a bit of a snowflake. And in the end, to be fair, sometimes it happens on both right and left. One person on the political left says something right. People on the right say, no, no, I'm still going to oppose this. I'm still going to oppose this for the sake of it. Calm down. Okay. Another person said... <laughs> He's quoting Thatcher's 1975 conference speech, and the wider context of it is extremely right-wing. Ooh. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Now, was there, there was a quote. <laughs> oh, my God, we have a meme. Yeah, of course. Saying, uh, and he's <laughs> wearing a JP Morgan suit. Yep. We are not going to get any real left-wing politicians, are we? Uh, positions, are we? Basically, everyone's waiting for Starmer to say more left-wing stuff. How much more left-wing do you want Starmer to get? If he goes slightly to the left even further, he's going to turn into a Corbynista. Do you really want communism, actual communism? Because what we are having is essentially left-wing or center-left authoritarianism in the name of uh, paternalistic governance and nanny state. This is basically almost as bad in this country. And for our standards in this country, if you're going to have social democracy and authoritarian um, governance, for our standards, this is our communism. It might not be as bad as Venezuela or Soviet Union or Cuba or North Korea, but it's still bad. So you don't be complacent. Another person, another bot basically said, 
Um, could easily be a CCP bot, but all right. Um, absolutely wild. Who writes these speeches? Yep, the bots are having a great time on Twitter, obviously, as usual. Fraser from the Green Party says, I actually hate him so much. Yeah, you're a member of the Green Party. Of course you're supposed to be hating <laughs> Why is everyone getting involved with all this debate? Anyway, next one. There's a meme um, of Keir Starmer in front of a Coca-Cola advert that says, Diet Tory. <laughs> I actually quite like this one. Diet Tory. Yeah, Keir Starmer is a diet... The only way you could be a diet Tory is if you're talking about the current Tory party, who is basically, they're a bunch of liberals anyway, a bunch of wets. So yes, technically, Keir Starmer is a diet version of these wet left-wing Tories. That is absolutely spot on, that meme. We have another meme, uh, Starmer's face on Margaret Thatcher's body. It's a bit concerning, disturbing. Hopefully, you're not going to watch this before bedtime because you're going to get a lot of nightmares. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Okay, we have Jake the Snake saying, Kier, you silly sausage. You forgot to put it put in put on it said put in. Put on your blue tie again. Everything is tribal. Everything is embarrassing. This is the level of a political discourse in this country these days. Dave with a B emoji says, uh, yep, well now she's dead. So effer. I'm, I, don't, I don't think you should F a, a, a dead body, but okay. Um, not really a, a quality comeback, Dave. Anyway, Richard Sox says, <laughs> she will be looking up smiling. And what, well, WTF is Starmer doing? Idiot. He simply, he didn't do anything wrong. Why am I defending Starmer? He didn't do anything wrong. He was simply telling the truth. He said, on the rule of law, and um, law and order, Margaret Thatcher mentioned something very important, that uh, the, 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 the primary role of the state and government is to look after the people. Why is everybody having a meltdown? Anyway, let's take a break. We're going to come back and talk about how left-wing lawyers are also having a meltdown over the illegal migration ban bill of Suella Braverman. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.